Hello, my name is Mike from Prebuilt Manufacturing Incorporated, and today we're going to build the Triplex Plus Birdhouse. So the Triplex Plus Birdhouse is a birdhouse that can be built either way in mirror image. So it can be built this way or it can be built this way, no mattering on how you flip the fronts and the backs. So you can connect two of them together to make a bigger kit like that, and then you can take another two, if you wish, and connect them together like that, right? And then you'd have a very large birdhouse set. So basically the one that we're building now is a single kit like so and in that kit what you're going to get is the instructions, you're going to get your nails, you're going to have three dowels, so I'm going to spread this out so we can build this. To have your glue and your sandpaper is handy and you're going to have a front, you're going to have two side walls, you're going to have four pieces of plywood that are the same. Three of them serve as floors and one serves as a roof support. So I'm going to give you some hints on how to use these pieces to make the kit. So you have your back and then you have your roof. So you're going to take your roof and you're going to set it aside. It's the very last thing that we do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the actual uh, middle box that goes down the middle of the, the birdhouse, the main structure. So it's going to have the two sides and all three floors here. Um, so the, the most important thing that you want to make sure of that when you build this birdhouse kit is to make sure that the floors, when they're inside the birdhouse kit, right, land in the right spot. So you want a floor that's going to land there. Then you want another floor that's going to land just over the actual hole for the entry and then just over so that each section right, is built to be able to not, so the walls don't land up in front of the holes, okay? And I'll show you how to do this, so that it's uh, easy to make sure that you don't have those floors land in the wrong spot. So you take the front, and you put it beside, ah, the shorter one's probably easier to work with. Now you can build this box that we're building now either way. Um, it doesn't really matter, it's a mirror image that way. So you could put the front on the back, the back on the front, and then you'd have them, they would be able to be uh, the opposite to another one that you're building. So that doesn't matter yet until you put the front and the back on. So you'd want to put the front and the back on in the right spot. So if you want the floor, you're obviously going to have one right at the very bottom. And then you want one here that's going to be just over top of this hole. So I'm placing this so that... I'm just over top of that hole like this. I think I'll do it this way so you can see it better. So if I place this here over top of that hole like this, actually we'll start with this one. I've done this before and I started with that one. This is a better way of doing it. So you, you put this one here like this, the middle one, just over top of that second hole. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a matter of not being inside that hole and you want to have it so it's, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch over top. So then you're going to place this piece on the front, like this, so it's square. So you're using this as a square. Then you can take this piece and slide it up against that piece, against this floor, that's squared off there. Now once you do that, then you'll know that on this side piece here is, is where that floor needs to go to be able to miss that hole. So then you take a nail, I actually did it backwards. I'm going to do that again. So like this, over the hole, because I'm right-handed. I'm going to go like that, use it as a square here. So I know that that's where I want that floor, over top of the hole. And then I'm going to put this here, knowing that that's where, right there, that I'm going to be over top of the hole with that floor being here. Okay. That's the way I wanted to do it, so that I can actually put my hand here and tap the nail in right here. So I'm pre-tapping the nails in to where I know the half inch floor needs to be. So now I'm, I'm tapping the nails in so that they're about a quarter of an inch in, so I'll actually be able to hit the actual thickness of that half inch plywood. Okay. So then the next one, the next floor is going to be just over this hole right here. So I'm going to keep this square 
to this floor. I'm going to set this guy here to where I want the floor in the birdhouse kit. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to use it as my square, and then I'm going to put this one on this floor and use it as my square. So now I have my guide for where the second floor is going, and I'm going to bring it in the nails about a quarter of an inch so that I can hit that half inch plywood as well. <clears throat> this is the real trick to making sure that you get these floors in the right spot on these birdhouse kits. So if I preset all those nails like that, they're just the right height so that when you tap on that half inch, you can just set them nicely. Now the bottom floor, I'm just going to tap the nails in, preset these nails. And I always say in the videos, uh, be very careful not to do this on your mom's new granite countertops. Uh, make sure that you have something under the nails so that when you tap the nail through too far, it doesn't end up chipping anything or going into the new kitchen table. <clears throat> so now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a floor, right? If you're worried about aesthetics, then you want to make sure you pick the nicest one that's got the, uh, the nicest edge or the nicest face on it. And then you're going to put that floor against this bottom edge like so. Make sure that you're really happy with the way that that lines up. And that little tiny protrusion that you've seen going to that table there, sometimes that helps to be, to actually help you have a little bit of grab for when you put that in the right spot. And when I did that, I was using my fingers to check the flush and the flush. So then you take another floor. Now things get easier. And you put this under there. So you've got actual like a little table. So the force of your, your hammering, I'm feeling the flush here while I'm looking at this end and lining up with this nail here. Now when I've done that one, I'm going to spin it. Okay, I'm not going to do the middle one. I'm going to line up this other side so it's right in the middle of that half inch plywood. I like where that is. Once that's done, then I'll do the middle one. And I'll take the third one. Put it underneath, and I know that this side is good here. Flush this up, I'm looking right down through. Spin it. Line this up here. Now the nails are just holding the kit together until Every, the glue drives. The glue is the real bonder of the birdhouse. So when you are nailing the birdhouse kit together, the nails are important. If you're not using any glue, the nails are very important. But the glue will make this thing incredibly strong later. So just to make sure that things are close to square so you don't have the floors all out on the next one, I like to take this guy, use it as a square again, and then square up the floor so I'm happy with where that one is. I'm looking at that one, I'm happy with that where that one is, and this one looks good too. So the nails are so thin, that's a little out there. The nails are so thin, you, all you do is just convince it a little bit like so. And then when you're hammering down the next one, that will bond that together as well. So now, you just go with your, not a whole lot of glue, just a, just a good line like so. Like that. Now the, the other floor, or the, sorry, the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preset, because it's easier to work right on the flat, the nails that will go straight into the floor first. And I'm not going to put any others in. I'm not going to preset any more nails on this piece, simply because this is easier to do this way and just have it line up first. I'm just working on the floor part here now and making sure that's all flush. Now that's where that is. Nice. So now I'm looking at the same thing as the, when I did the other side. 
I'm looking directly right at the edge and I'm putting the nails fairly close to the corner, about half an inch out from the corner. And that'll come into play in a minute as a marker for where you're going to put other nails in the kit. So this is kind of a marker to let you know where this floor is. Because soon you're going to be putting the kit together in the floor, you won't be able to see it at all. Just the nails. So I'm spinning around and I can see the nails from this side. So now you have this, and we need to attach the fronts and the backs. So when you're standing this up straight, it should be fairly close to square already. It could be leaning a little bit one way or the other. If it is, this will dictate to make it square by doing this. Now you can do the front or the back at this point. It doesn't really matter. The key here, right, especially with this kit, is you've got a big long area here where there's no nail connections. So what you want to do, <coughs> is you want to make sure that you put a decent small bead of glue on that. Oop, went over the edge. And all the way on each front and back, or sorry, on each side. So those sides there will bond later to be very, very, very strong. So I'm going to set this aside now and again, it's always easiest to start at the bottom and get yourself square. So I'm going to do three nails into the bottom, about a quarter of an inch in, as I mentioned, so that you hit the edge. So you hit that half inch plywood right in the center. So I'll put this onto this here and I'm going to go for here, this flush bottom here and these corners. That's all you're looking at at this point. If these are a little bit out, right, don't worry about that. That'll straighten itself out. So you want these corners, these two corners, and this bottom to be flush at this point. So you nail those in. And then, as I mentioned earlier, right, you've got these nails here that shows you where the floor is. Okay? So on my side, I'm looking at those same nails. I'm using those nails, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab onto the burgers like this, and I'm going to straighten it out so it moves like this way and that. I'm going to straighten it out so it's exactly where I want. Put a little bit of pressure on there, and go right into that floor because I know that's exactly where that floor is. And then I'm going to do that on the next nail up, on the next floor up. See the way preset it there before I actually drove it through the wood. If you just preset it and don't drive it through the wood, that'll still give you the uh, liberty of being able to move it around slightly until you commit and hammer it home. If the nail's a little bit sideways like that, you see how I'm using the hammer to follow how the nail is leaning over. If the nail really starts bending over because he's a little nail, just pull it out and try again. This is the amount of nails you got in the kit, so you've got a lot of nails to work with. Okay, so now you've got the whole back. You can do the back or the front at that point. It's the both of the, both of them are the same concept. So it's the, the basically it's the exact same step. But now at least you have the floors, so they actually fit right over top of those holes in the right spots. So I'll do the same thing now. Now again, if you wanted this to be the mirror image of that, then this front would have went the other way around up here, right, instead of there, and that would be the back and this would be the front. So think about that ahead of time and don't end up with two the same way. <laughs> you want to be able to put them back to back. So I'll go ahead with this here. And I'm looking to see, I just took a glance here, that I don't have this flipped the wrong way when I'm doing this. This has to be flipped the correct way now before you're doing this and the back as well. If you nail the wrong side, if you're just building one you nail the wrong side and you want it leaning the one way then you're okay. So 
take a look at that ahead of time before you decide to nail one side or the other on these. Again, right here you want to make sure you want to have the glue done well there. The glue bottle, but the size is perfect. And I'm looking again straight just at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. So everything's glued, and again, I know where exactly where those floors are, and you can take the kit and you can actually manipulate that slightly one way or the other. Everything's square, so it should be falling together fairly square. And you have a half inch of width there. If you put your other nail directly in the middle of that half inch, you can, um, you can know that that half inch is in the middle of that nail. If you're having difficulty hitting the middle of that half inch, then you can always mark Put a little like pencil mark or something on the outside of the thickness of where the floor is. Right? If you're going to end up painting it, you could even take this, know where your nail is, right? Do a, do a little mark, right? And then hit the inside of that so you hit that half inch plywood. But if you're going a quarter of an inch in on half inch plywood, now I'm looking at the two that I put in using those two edges, and I know that that one I'm just looking down it. Knowing that that one's going to hit that half inch plywood. Spin that. Oh, I already did the other side. Go right in the center here. Looking right down between those two. So that completes that part of the kit there. Now, the only thing that's left that needs to be done on this is you need to put the, the, the half inch plywood in here for the roof to be nailed too. So, the way that that works is you just... Now, in step two in the instructions, it says that you can put this in, uh, I think, halfway through. Yeah, step two basically is covering everything that I'm covering here. So this is the way I prefer to do it, is uh, put the whole box together and then put this this one in because everything's, every <laughs> and don't glue the edges that you're not nailing. So I'll wipe the glue off the edges that I'm not nailing, knowing that this is a rectangle and not a square. We do have kits that have squares in them. Just took it for granted that uh, that was uh, the right way. So that fits there just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this so I can see it to nail a little, little easier. And I'm going to take two or three nails, go about a quarter of an inch in, like I usually do there, right, so that I can nail that in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush this up, hold it with my finger, just inside the hole there like that, so I know exactly where it needs to be nailed down. Nail that down there. And then I'm going to check for, so after always after you get one nail in a, in a piece, it could be off. So what you want to do is you want to go like that, flush that up, and hold that while you nail it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this nail first. And then if I'm going to, one of the things you can do is just press down. And don't worry about this edge yet, just worry about the one that you're nailing. flip that over and then I'm going to only worry about where I'm putting the nail on the next piece to make sure it's flush. Right there. This one's sticking further out so it's nice to pick the one that's further in and do it first. So then you're pushing then you're pushing the slight tolerance that's out here just simply just pushing it in when you're going to nail that. So I'll just push that in a little bit in this case. 
So that builds the entire box. Okay, so we have the roof and we have the perches left. So at this point, you want to make sure that you take your sandpaper and you, you finish all of the parts of the kit. Even Some people like even painting and such so that the paint is separate on the roof and a different color on the roof than you've got with the rest of the kit. Now is the time to do all your fancy stuff before you put your roof on. If you do your roof and then you try to get inside with the sandpaper and stuff, it's very difficult to do. So then what you do is you put the uh, birdhouse kit against your, your belly like so, and then you do your glue here on your two, on your front and your back, and you glue well this roof support. Now you'll see a gap between the side walls and the roof. Now the gap between the side walls and the roof serve a few purposes. One, it, we never have a piece that's too long that's pushing up on the roof, but mostly what it does is it creates an actual vent, a soffit vent, that the, the air can get out so that the, the, birds, uh, the birds are not too hot and can breathe. So you take the roof here, with, I've, I've done the gluing ahead of time, because it's a pretty big square that you're looking at there. So have a look at where that square is. Right, and use the table as a jig to make that roof flat to where it needs to go. So this roof is gonna end up going down, uh, down the back side like that flush, right? And then you're ready to actually tap the nails in here. You can preset one of these nails if you wish, but if I put this up against myself here now and I know that's against the table there, right, then I've got a really good flat surface to go ahead Put one right in the center. The pattern here is not a real big deal because all you got to do, and you can look down too and know that when you look at those nails on the side, that you're going to hit that half inch plywood. I could have probably actually used the other side of that. It would have been probably a little bit nicer to finish. Always pick the nicest side out if you're, uh, if you're looking for the wood finish. Um, when it comes to the perches, so you put a little tiny bit of glue on the perch like so, not very much at all. And you just put them against the hole like that. You just top them in with a hammer like so. So we're gonna say I put glue on the other two perches here. Just tap them in about that quarter of an inch. And you have, it ended up being that side, the far side, a triplex plus. Thank you.